Welcome to Learn Yourself. Exercise 9.1, question number 1. List 5 rational numbers between all these numbers. So there are 2 numbers and we have to find out rational numbers between these 2. Let us first understand what is the meaning of a rational number. A rational number is defined as a number that can be expressed in the form of P by Q. So when we are writing P by Q, that means in the form of numerator and denominator where p and q are integers now what is the meaning of integers positive number and negative number both are called integers so p and q both can be either negative or positive numbers and q should not be equal to zero so denominator should not be equal to zero that form of numbers are rational numbers so minus 1 by 3 3 by 5 7 by minus 3, 2 by 7, all these forms where Q or denominator is not equals to 0, they all are known as rational numbers. Now here they have given us that minus 1 and 0. Now in between these two numbers, we have to find 5 rational numbers. So let us learn that how to find out rational numbers between two numbers. So our first numerical is minus 1 and 0. In between these two numbers, we have to find out 5 rational numbers. Now we know that this is our number line where here if this is a 0, then towards this side minus 1 will be there. So in between these two numbers, we have to find out 5 rational numbers. Now since we have to find out 5 rational numbers, what we are going to do is we are going to multiply above and below with 6 because we are going to find out 5 rational numbers and minus 1 is numerator so we can always write 1 in its denominator whenever the whole number is there 5 we can always write 1 in its denominator any number which is not equals to 0 in and whole number we can always write 1 in their denominator that means it is equals to 5 only so here i have mentioned 1 in denominator of minus 1 and i am multiplying above and below with 6 because we are going to find out 5 rational numbers so the first number i have changed to this and the second number i am going to also multiply and divide by 6 and in zeros denominator, I can write 1. Whenever we are writing 0 divided by 1, that means it is equals to 0. Any number in division of 0 is equals to 0. So here the answer will remain same, but here we have multiplied 6 above and below with both the numbers. So our converted rational numbers are now minus 6 by 6 and 0 by 6 because 0 in multiplication with 6 it will give us 0 and 1 into 6 will give us 6. If you will see here what is the meaning of minus 6 by 6 it's minus 1 and what is the meaning of 0 divided by 6 it is 0. Numbers are same only we have changed the number in the form of rational number because we need to find out 5 rational numbers. Now again let us plot this two number on our number line. If this is a 0 then I am going to write here 0 divided by 6 which is equals to 0 only and here I am going to write minus 6 divided by 6 that means it is minus 1 only. Now it is easy to write the 5 rational number in between this. As we are going towards the right, we will get here minus 5 by 6. Then we will get minus 4 by 6, minus 3 by 6, minus 2 by 6 and we will get minus 1 by 6. So all these numbers are rational numbers which are in between minus 6 by 6 and 0 by 6. Our second numerical. We have to find out 5 rational numbers between minus 2 and minus 1. So first we have to convert them into rational numbers. 
Now we will convert them in a rational form such that we will not change the number. And we have to find out 5 rational numbers. So again we are going to write 1 in the numbers denominator. And we are going to multiply and divide with the 6. Why we are going to multiply and divide with 6? Because we required 5 rational numbers. That's why we have taken here 6. You can also try with taking 3. That if we are multiplying and divide with 3 with 2 both the numbers like minus 1 and 1 here in the denominator 3. Then we will get here minus 6 by 3 and we will get minus 3 by 3. See here in between these two numbers we will get minus 5 by 3, minus 4 by 3 and the next we will get is minus 3 by 3. So only two numbers we will get in between minus 6 by 3 and minus 3 by 3. So here we require 5 rational numbers. So here we required 5 rational numbers. So that's why we are multiplying with 6. As you can see here, if we required 2 numbers, then we have multiplied with 3. So how many numbers you need it? You can multiply one number more above and below and you will get those many numbers in between 2 numbers. You can try here with 2 divided by 2, 1, 5 divided by 5 and you will get to know that how many numbers you will get it in between two rational numbers. So the simple trick is if you require five numbers you multiply with six. Let us go back to our example that minus two we have written here one in its denominator and we have multiplied six above and below. The second number is minus one. We can write one in its denominator and multiply it with six above and below. So our converted rational numbers are minus 12 by 6 and, and minus 6 by 6. So as we can see here the simplification of this will give us minus 2 and minus 1 only but we have converted them into rational number. Now let us find out our 5 rational numbers. So this is a 0 as we are going towards the left side we will get here minus 1. Now what is minus 1? We have converted into minus 6 by 6. That is our minus 1 only. And the next number is minus 12 by 6. And that is our minus 2. Now in between these two we can write minus 11 by 6, minus 10 by 6, minus 9 by 6, minus 8 by 6, minus 7 by 6 and the next one will be minus 6 by 6. So we got our 5 numbers here. Third numerical. We have to write 5 rational numbers between minus 5, 4 by 5 and minus 2 by 3. Now what is the difference between numerical 1, 2 and 3? That here these numbers were not in fraction form whereas from numerical 3 we have the numbers already in the fraction form. So it is going to take one additional step that we have to find out suitable LCM for them so that we can find out 5 rational numbers between them. Now if I directly write the LCM which is required here then it will be difficult for you understand so we are going in a stepwise manner it is going to be a bit lengthy but understand the concept first so here our LCM is 15 because it is 5 and 3 so let us take first LCM 15 so minus 4 into 3 5 into 3 so we will get here minus 12 by 15 and we will get minus 2 into 5, 3 into 5. So we will get another fraction here that is minus 10 by 15. Now understand here we have two numbers that is minus 12 by 15 and minus 12 by 15. In between these two numbers we will get only minus 11 by 15. Not more than one number. So what should we do now? We have to increase our LCM. Now LCM is 15. So we have to increase this LCM such that we will get 5 rational numbers between our 2 numbers. So 
we have two denominators that is 5 and 3. So what all LCM can be possible? So the numbers which are common in 5 table and 3 table are first is 15, then comes 30 and then comes 45. So 15 we have taken and it is not giving us 5 rational number. Now let us try taking 30. So if we will make denominator 30, then we have to multiply this minus 4 by 5 with 6 above and below. So we will get here minus 24 by 30 and another fraction we will get is minus 2 by 3 is there. So we have to multiply 10 above and below. So we can make denominator 30. So minus 20 by 30. Now in between minus 24, 30 and minus 20 by 30, how many numbers we will get? That minus 23 by 30, minus 22 by 30, minus 21 by 30 and minus 20 by 30. We got only three numbers here. So we have to raise, we have to increase our LCM from 30 to 45 then we will get more numbers in between these two numbers since this is a first time it is difficult to understand that how many numbers will be in between that but once you will have after hands on practice you will get to know from number itself that here minus 24 is there and minus 20 is there in between only three numbers are there so we have to raise we have to increase our lcm a bit so 45 will be the suitable lcm for this numerical so let us start with 45 our third numerical minus 4 by 5 and minus 2 by 3 our lcm what we have choose is 45 to convert denominator into 45 we have to multiply with 9 above and below so we will get here minus 36 divided by 45 and another fraction is minus 2 by 3 so we have to multiply here with 15 above and below. So 15 minus 15 in multiplication with minus 2, we will get minus 30 with division with 45. So our new converted rational numbers are minus 36 divided by 45 and minus 30 divided by 45. Now we can find out 5 rational numbers between these two numbers. So in between these two numbers, the numbers are, let us first write minus 36 divided by 45 is less than minus 35 divided by 45 is less than minus 34 divided by 45 less than minus 33 divided by 45 is less than minus 32 divided by 45 is less than minus 31 divided by 45 is less than minus 30 divided by 45. So these two numbers are our rational numbers and we got here five rational numbers in between these two. Our fourth numerical when one number is negative and one number is positive it is very easy to find out five rational numbers between them because we have many many numbers in between them so our fourth numerical is going to be easy that minus 1 by 2 and 2 by 3 in between these two numbers we have to find out five rational numbers so our LCM is going to be here 6 2 and 3 are there in its denominator so let us convert this fraction into denominator of the 6. So minus 1 by 2 when we will multiply with 3 above and below we will get minus 3 by 6 and second fraction is 2 by 3. So we are going to multiply and divide with 2. So we will get here 4 divided by 6. So just guess 5 rational number in between these two. Are we going to get 5 rational numbers between these two? Yes. Because there are plenty of numbers in between these two. So it is easy for us to write five rational numbers between these two. So then 0 by 6, then 1 by 6, then comes 2 by 6, 
then comes 3 by 6 and then comes last our number that is 4 by 6. So these two are our numbers and we required five rational numbers in between these two. So any five numbers from this you can write as an answer. So thank you for watching and learning with us. If you have any doubt, please comment down below. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing. And don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself.